Welcome to another edition of Walmart Taco TV. Today we're in Tijuana, Mexico, Baja California, and we're going to Tacos El Gordo. Let's get to it. First thing coming into Los Gordos, I noticed was the adobada, that's the meat on the spit. We also ordered some tacos de cabeza and some tripas. This will be the first time my nephew Sam will be eating tripas and tacos de cabeza. Of course the carne asada was fantastic. The one thing I noticed right away, it was cooked over wood charcoal. So wood fire carne asada tacos and nobody can forget the handmade tortillas. Okay Sammy what are we about to do? We're about to go in on some tacos. We're gonna destroy some tacos. Oh I'm gonna get pregnant at that. Oh man look at that. What do we got here we're gonna eat Sammy? We got four carne asada tacos, four alabada tacos, two tacos de tripa, I eat. And we also have two tacos of cabeza. Oh yeah, that's right. So we're gonna inhale this right now, destroy these tacos. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get at it, my friends. Okay, my friends, this is how you eat a carne asada tacos from Tacos El Gordo in Tijuana. Put a little bit of lime on there. Mmm. Get fancy with it. Get fancy with it, you know, just the gourmet type, you know what I'm talking about. Gonna get in on this taco, man. This is a really impromptu, you know, taco review here at Tacos de Gordo. I know it's gonna be fantastic because I've been here a hundred times, but maybe some of my friends and people and viewers out there have not seen this place. This place is called Tacos de Gordo. It's in Tijuana, Mexico, Baja California. We actually uh, came to bring my nephew Sam and his dog to the vet over here to treat his dog. But I thought, hey, there's a taco del gordo right across the street, so you know we can't miss on that. So here we go, my friends. Buen provecho. Hmm. <sighs> oh my god. There's nothing like a carne asada taco just grilled right over wood fire charcoal. You can really taste that roasted flavor. Okay, my friends, here we are. Just consuming mass quantities of taco. This is a taco extravaganza right here. <laughs> Sammy says, uh, Theo, are you sure we're gonna eat all this? I know I can. <laughs> you can. I'm gonna try to. I'll put it away, I won't feel pregnant afterwards. <laughs> well, let's see if I can eat as much as I've ordered. I don't know, but I'm gonna give it a shot. <laughs> You know, the one thing you don't get a lot of is this fire roasted chilies in the taco shops here in the, in the U.S. anyways. It's usually just cooked on a grill and not over the fire. But here in Mexico, wood fired, wood grilled charcoal. Look at how beautifully roasted this chili is. Let's taste it. Mmm. Oh, man. You can just taste that delicious roastiness to it. What's the next taco choice I'm gonna eat? These are called tacos de tripa. Mmm. Put some lemon on there, my friends. Get some salt. Yeah. Buen provecho, amigos. <laughs> bon appetit, friends. Here is a taco tripa about to go down my throat. Mmm. We used to go eat tacos all the time. When I was a kid, every two weeks we'd come out here to Tijuana. Tijuana, my mom and sister, they would go to the beauty salon, get their hair done. we will go to the mercado, the supermarket, and my dad and I would go get our shoes shine and get our haircuts and then get our tacos on. Buen provecho. His favorites were 
de tripa like this. And also tacos de cabeza. I mean, about to go down on a tripa taco for the first time. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> what do you think, Sammy? Like mushy chicharrones. <laughs> mushy chicharrones. Chicharrones because they fry them, you know? So they have a little bit of crunchiness, a little bit of a texture to it. So what do you think? Are they good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, my friends, you know, I don't know what the real tradition is about the radishes that they always give you at some of the finest taco restaurants. Uh, I like them, but maybe it's to clear your palate so you can have the next taco route. That's exactly what it is. The other thing you need to keep in mind, if you have gas problems, <laughs> gastrointestinal problems, these things will make you fart like crazy. I feel sorry for my wife tonight. <laughs> tacos de cabeza. And my boy Sammy eating some tacos de cabeza for the first time. Uno, dos, tres. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. Boom, boom, boom. So what, what's, what do you think, Sammy? What's the, the verdict? I like the tripa ones better, but they're still good. Now, taco de cabeza, you know what that means, right? You speak Spanish, what's cabeza? It's the head. It's the head. So mostly, these are uh, pieces of meat that come from the cheeks. Sometimes they mix in lengua as well. Hey, that's something we should order some lengua tacos. You want some? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating enormous amounts of tacos right now, my friends. Now, as for myself, I'm about to go down on some adobada tacos. No, that's also known as tacos de trompo, you know. These tacos, historically, from what I understand and what I've been reading about, you know, the, the meat that's cooked on the spit that spins around, traditionally, this came by uh, Arab immigrants, uh, people from the Middle East who immigrated to Mexico City. And so they brought their traditions as far as how they cooked the meat on the spit. So when they did that, Originally, the meat that was used was, of course, kosher, or I don't know if you call it kosher, or halal. Is that what they call it? Halal, if it's Middle Eastern. It was lamb, it wasn't pork. But over years and years of being here in Mexico, they knew that the taste for lamb wasn't as great in uh, the Middle East as it is, you know, in Mexico. They, uh, they preferred uh, pork. And the reason they call it adobada is because they put an adobo sauce on it when they marinate through this red chili paste they, they put on it and it's also mixed in with uh, fruit juices like pineapple, marinated pineapple, orange juice many times, cloves, even cinnamon. So here we go. I'm about to put this one down. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Only the best for me, my friend. Okay, Sammy, so what is your, your opinion? Which ones did you like the best so far? So number one is adobada. Adobada. the juiciest one. It has the most ingredients and the crema. Mm -hmm. They added to the taco, it like goes good. And then the second one, I think it was the tripas one. Oh, that really? Was, that was, that was and that was the good. first time you ate that? Yeah, yeah. And you liked it? Yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was like chicharron, but you know, it was soft, yeah. chewy. You know, those were your grandpa's favorites. Oh, yeah. well, I guess it's in our blood. <laughs> and then the tacos de cabeza, that's the third one I like. Really? You like that was your dad your grandpa's second favorite. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know, I mean I like carne asada tacos, but the tacos de cabeza I guess were just juicier this time. Okay. Now the taco master himself, Don Pancho, my dad he used to love these tacos de cabeza. So I'm about to go down on this one right now. You know, nobody can go down like the taco master on a taco. <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> and now, <laughs> the tacos de cabeza. I let Sammy have what, my other one. I had ordered two, but since he never tried it before, I thought, you know what? He needs to know the proud heritage of taco masters. Sammy's my boy, he's my nephew. His grandpa is el, uh, maestro de los tacos, taco master himself. Don Pancho, may he rest in peace. Buen provecho, amigos. Here's to you, my friends. I'm gonna deal with it. Mmm. It does have a unique texture, you know that? Very tasty. Mmm. And now to chase down these tacos with an horchata. 
nice, delicious, cool, refreshing. This is like a, 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 rice, a rice drink it's made with uh, some kind of pulverized rice. They put a little bit of cinnamon, vanilla in there, some sugar. Can't beat that. Great chaser to every taco. Now, as usual, my friends, by ending this show, peace, love each other, be kind to each other, and have another taco. Just one more taco.